What is up everybody and welcome back to T-Dog Customs where we are doing some more work on the Cummins Jeep. In the last video, y'all saw this thing uh, ripping good. And let me tell you, I could not be more happy with how this thing is running and driving. Uh, just absolutely flawless. But in this video, we are going to be adding this black seven color series. Uh, you can just you know, change the different colors on it. Uh, glow shift. And this one in particular is a uh, EGT. So the purpose of EGT is to measure uh, EGT stands for um, exhaust gas temperature so that's um, that's what we're going to be doing today it's got this little probe here that goes uh, into the exhaust manifold uh, right like that and that is what probes uh, the exhaust temperature so uh, what we're going to be doing with ours is sticking it in the manifold here uh, right as it comes out of the engine. Um, this uh, already had a spot tapped for it. You might be able to see it right there, that shiny. So it was already tapped and I went ahead and screwed uh, that portion in already. Um, so what this is going to do is we are going to screw this into that point right there. Um, and you want to measure, make sure this gets, you know, sticking. For example, you wouldn't want it like this. You want to push this down a little bit um, so you get good penetration into the, uh, you know, manifold, wherever you're doing it. So we got it, though, adjusted where we need it. Uh, very simple install really uh, these things come with pretty much everything I will show you it actually comes with uh, directions right here um, but comes with this which is uh, an extension that plugs onto here and then that end plugs into the back of your gauge here and then you also have this which is for this which also plugs into the back and that's what uh, that is through this wiring right here that is where you're going to get uh, your uh, switched power uh, ground stuff like that so we'll cover all that but the first place to start, <clears throat> I do apologize because I'm not going to be tapping in this video and showing you guys how to do that because it was already done. But for basic purposes, what is up dudes? I just want to uh, jump in here real quick and let everyone know who's watching. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support lately. Uh, we are at currently 276 subscribers, which um, is just huge. Uh, <laughs> uh, my goal, like I've tried to tell people, is to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. We're well on our way, but uh, you know, in the last couple weeks, we've uh, had a sus substantial amount of new subscribers so I do really appreciate that it means a lot to me and what I'm trying to do here and share with all of you guys I do see that you are um, subscribing and being more interactive I do appreciate that reminder if you have any questions about anything I do comment below I do read the comments and I respond very quickly. All right, guys, so let's get back to the install of the EGT sensor and gauge. I will show you guys uh, some steps that you can do. If you do need to tap out, I will tell you exactly how to do that. So I'm gonna show you guys, if you are tapping, depending on your thread pitch and what all you're doing, uh, will depend on your sizing and all that. 
But let's say you're using this tap right here. All right. Um, what you are going to want to do, this is a 3 8 16. Okay, so this kit comes with the proper drill bit selection already, which is a 5 16. So you'll drill a hole in your desired material, uh, drill with this drill bit. Then you will take your tap this part right here um, and you are going to start screwing this into the hole that you just drilled and it will leave this thread pattern uh, in the hole and be the proper thread pitch and everything that you need and you will work that in and out one or two times and then you will pretty much essentially be set and then you can screw your uh, part that came in the kit into that and then you'll be ready to install your probe and it will be simple like that you can uh, use some thread locker like uh, some thread sealer or um, you know high temp uh, like plumber's tape kind of deal um, you know that's what I did I, I may have used the right stuff I can't remember but point is you can use some kind of sealer uh, to create a tight fit so you're not leaking out of that fitting now when it comes to this fitting since it's got this crush uh, little ring I'm not sure exactly what that's called but it's a brass fitting that tightens down and it gets sandwiched you won't need any uh, kind of tape or sealant on on this fitting that screws up in there grab your piece and you will slide it right up right up into there and you will tighten it down. Uh, grab you a open end wrench and you will just tighten this down. Get the proper angle wherever you're going to route the wire for the EGT. Um, that's where you're going to want to point this thing, obviously. All right, guys, I got the light so you can see a little better. But if you can see the probe right here, um, I'm gonna angle it back this way. That is as simple as that part is. Uh, that is most definitely the hardest part uh, is tapping your hole uh, and doing that. And that part is not very hard at all. If it is your first time, I remember when it was my first time and it is a little, uh, it's a little intimidating, I would say, but it's not hard. So uh, just remember that, stick through it, dive in. If you never try, you'll never get better at anything. So just dive in, do it, uh, and it won't be as bad as you think. Um, as long, if you take the exhaust manifold off, I do recommend doing that and doing it with the exhaust manifold off. Um, or if you're just building the uh, motor, think ahead and drill it and tap it before you install it. That will make your life much easier in the long run like mine uh, was done before I put this in here. So uh, enough on that. Let's go ahead and we will run the wiring inside. Okay. All right, guys. So we have got the wire run through the firewall right here. Um, you will see that this fitting right here, I plugged it in already, but let me unplug it. Uh, this is coming through the firewall right here. So what you will do is 
you will have this in your kit and what you will do is that will plug right in like this all right and then this end right here plugs into the back of your gauge so i'm thinking on putting the gauge up in here building a plate and this would give me room for two more gauges so my thought behind the gauges is um, i will need let's say i were to uh, go compound turbo setup um, having more gauges or two uh, exhaust temperature gauges it may be helpful i don't know but the point is um, I may need some more gauges at some point and um, so it may be nice doing that so I have some room for more gauges we have got this other fitting right here all right so this wiring package also plugs into the back of the gauge and you've got like your power and stuff like that. So the instructions on this are very, very clear on what to do, but I will cover it with you guys anyways. Um, it says right here, the orange wire. So if we look right here, we've got the red, orange, yellow, black, black, is going to be your ground so that will go to a ground your orange wire goes to a 12 volt um, headlight so what that means is your running lights anything that gives you power when you hit your running lights the uh, yellow right here is a constant power source so any fuse that has constant power you could just tap right into that it'll give you constant power all the time very easy um, and you know you're you're done with that um, so the yellow gets constant power uh, the red gets switched power so uh, ignition switch so when you turn your key on that will give you uh, that's what the red one goes into is switched power um, yeah so it's kind of simple as that uh, those are the three that you need yellow red uh, and orange so I covered what exactly those do I will show you right here I don't know if that's focusing or not, but I just told you what to do. So you don't really need to look at that anyways, because I just told you in the black. Don't forget the black is ground. That is very important. You need to put the ground in there or things will not work. So that is all you need to do. So what I've done is I've traced out the area in the dash that I'm going to put the gauge in. So I'm going to cut it out. Never, uh, never cut towards you. Found this little piece of sheet plating, uh, just the right length, pretty much. I actually didn't have a hole saw bit the right size, so I had to use a couple different techniques, a grinder, so it came out a little messier than I thought or that I was hoping, but as you can see, when it's on here, um, you can't really tell. And I'm going to paint this black so it all blends in. I am not going to go over the videoing me of actually doing the wiring, 
but I'm going to show you what I did. I pulled off the uh, my gauge cluster here that I had uh, kind of made myself uh, out of the stock um, bracket here. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to tie in to uh, my uh, probably tie into the ground from here I'm gonna tie into the switched power for the headlights uh, and then also the the on switch um, I've got a wire running here to these so I'm just gonna tap into that same the same one and uh, I have to look, I may even have one up here that is a constant power, uh, but if not, I've got the, um, just gonna tilt this down. I know the lighting is really bad, guys, I do apologize. I will need a constant power as well, and I think from here, uh, either I'll just throw in a new fuse running to it or I'll tap off of a constant power from here or you know anywhere really so that won't be a problem I've got it wired up um, everything from here could be wired up to this panel except for the constant power I ran to the back of my cigarette lighter um, just ran it there so what happens here is when the ignition is turned on, all right, you can see that. Um, I don't have the EGT sensor put in, but you've got light there. Because this is a smoked one, you need the light on at all times so that's why it comes on with the switch now you can switch different colors this is the seven color one but all my gauges are this color so i want to match um, have it match so everything works like it should um turn that off everything wiring wise works like it should now it's time to literally um, hook up the EGT sensor Woohoo! boys 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 check this out this came out sick so pretty happy with that um, I did want to show you guys the real reason uh, I am doing this is so you guys can see how you put this in here so you can see it you stick those two extenders on, then you slip uh, this metal little thing on there and then tighten it down and it just keeps pressure on the lip so your gauge stays straight up and down. So that's all that is. Pretty cool. Uh, now we can go ahead and plug everything in. Alrighty guys. Well this is kind of an overview of what we have done today the EGT sensor goes into the bottom of the manifold we have it running out the back so you don't really see it that's what I was really shooting for not being able to see the sensor so it runs back excuse me allergies runs back along the firewall then down pops through the firewall right here if you can see right here comes through the firewall zip tied it to this main power wire runs up here and then back here to the back of the gauge super 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 clean and I love it you can't even tell that it's really there so sitting in the Jeep 
it's very inconspicuous down there. You can't really see it at all. Um, let's hit the key on. All right, so it powers on, right? Um, and it's at a brighter level. When we hit the light on for like running lights, it dims. I don't know if the, uh, I think the camera's picking that up, but it does dim when it's at nighttime. So that is kind of nice whenever your lights are on, um, it dims at night. Now we're gonna go ahead and start it up. So there you guys can see everything is fully optional. I mean, <laughs> everything is fully operational and working just like it should. So I have been driving the Jeep without an EGT um, gauge since I did the build, swap, everything. So I've never had it on here. Now I'm pretty confident I'm keeping pretty low EGTs, uh, but we are running this um, with a lot of fuel. And um, so it will be nice to see what it runs. I think that'll probably wrap it up for this video, guys. Um, it is kind of getting long. Hopefully this helped someone out there. Um, and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click this uh, button and subscribe because we've got lots more content coming on this. We literally have just begun to do things to this. Have fun and uh, summer is coming quick and we are going to do a lot of adventures this summer and hopefully hit a lot of uh, truck shows and you know car shows and just have a good time this summer um, and enjoy also trying to grow the YouTube channel so um, you know the more events we go to and get the channel's name out there uh, the quicker it grows which obviously is what we're trying to do here so um, yeah uh, thank you guys for watching though if you've stuck it out this long I do appreciate it as always, keep grinding. I'll catch you guys in the next upload. I'm out.